Hey everybody, Chris here again. Welcome back to the channel. We're glad you're here. So today it's going to be another retro tutorial. And what we're going to look at is setting up a CF card. And I'm going to show you how to do that using a modern PC so that you can then in turn use this on an older machine. So basically first I'm going to take you through that process and then I'm going to show you one gotcha if you're using Microsoft Windows to do this setup process. And we'll take it to that point. So a tutorial, short and sweet, eight minutes or less. Let's go. For the CF card setup, we're going to rely heavily on the streamcast.nu tutorial, which is absolutely great, and there will be a link in the description. And basically, we're going to follow it with a couple of modifications. The first thing we're going to do actually is not use MS-DOS, but use Windows 95B so that we can set a FAT32 partition. So I'll be downloading a Windows 95B boot disk for that purpose. But you could use DOS and you could use a disk manager if needed, etc, etc. Next up, it says to install VirtualBox on a modern Windows PC and to connect a CF card to that modern Windows PC. And I have connected it to Drive H and I already have VirtualBox installed, so we won't be going through that procedure today. The next thing you want to do is remove all partitions from the CF card in Windows Disk Management. So I'll go ahead and launch that. I just type Disk Manager and it brings up Create and Format Hard Disk Partitions as you can see there. And we can scroll down to Drive H and see what we have. And as we scroll down, we'll see it's actually unallocated. So there's nothing to remove. I can right click on it and there's no delete setting. So I'll show you on another partition what that looks like. I'll choose, uh, I don't know, my C drive <laughs> or my G drive and go to delete volume, but I'm actually not going to do it because I like my data, but you get the idea. Anyway, you'll certainly want to do that. And from there, we can launch a command prompt as administrator. That's going to be an important step for this next step here. The next thing we're going to do is actually list the list of drives that are attached to the system. And we can see that physical drive two is our SD card or our CF card rather. And the next thing we need to do is create a virtual disk, a VMDK file based upon this. So I'm gonna go ahead and change into the VirtualBox directory because I like to run commands from the current directory most of the time, and we're going to do that now. From there, we can type VBox manage internal commands, create raw VMDK dash file name, and this can be whatever you want. I'm just gonna call it mycfcard.vmdk, and then raw disk and specify the disk that you see above which is going to be this slash slash dot slash physical drive two. And from there, it will create a disk. Perfect. So moving on to the next step, we want to start VirtualBox with administrator rights. Next up, we can create a new virtual machine or modify an existing one. I'm just going to go ahead and modify an existing one for purposes of this exercise. So I'll go to my existing machine and go to settings and go to storage and I'll add that new drive as a drive. So we can choose an existing disk navigate to drive D in my case and find my CF card.vmdk and we are all set. From here we can go ahead and power on and we can start our process of partitioning this particular disk or CF card. Okay, so as we power on here, we're going to get a boot failure because there's no operating system loaded or partition. So let's go ahead and put that Windows 95B disk into the drive and I'll go ahead and select that. Happens to be in my downloads folder, there it is and I can go ahead and reboot the virtual machine and we'll make this bigger so you can see it. And it says starting Windows 95, great. So from here, it's really just an exercise in FDisk and we'll say large partition support, yes. Create a DOS partition, primary, and let it create. And we'll choose the maximum size and make it active. Perfect. One more restart here and then we can format the disk. So here we are restarting and now we can go ahead and format drive C slash S and this will make this a bootable disk or bootable CF card. Great. So from here, let's go ahead and eject the disk from the floppy drive and we'll reboot one more time just to prove that we're all set here. And we'll be all set and ready to go. There we are booted up on drive C and we can do a directory listing. So I wanted to show one more thing, and that is dealing with a logging issue. We'll go ahead and create a file here since we haven't left the session that you saw me in just a minute ago. 
and I've created a new file called file.txt with this is a test as the text. Okay, now I am going to close VirtualBox and this is going to release the lock on that new drive that we created. Windows is gonna see it and say, hey, let's mount this nice removable disk. Okay, let's launch VirtualBox again, great. And then we can hit start and we can go ahead and boot up and let's just go ahead and do a directory listing and make a copy of that file there. I actually added a new one in the interim and you can see we have a general failure writing drive C. Uh-oh, why did this happen? Well, it's because Windows locked the drive. How do we get around it? Well, let me show you one way. And this involves using a program called Exclusive. So we're gonna go to this website you see on the left and there will be a link in the description and it downloads a program called DSKACL and within there is a program called Exclusive. And this will allow us to overcome this problem. So if we scroll down here in the page, we should see a download to a CAB file. In the case, we're going to want a 64-bit version, so I'll download that and go ahead and extract that. And I found that you wanna keep the files you extract here in the same directory, otherwise the Exclusive program can have some problems. So we'll just extract that to downloads and you can see it there. I did try dragging it around and that didn't work so well, so word to the wise. And now we can go ahead and launch it. So I'm gonna just basically run it from that directory, happens to be in downloads, exclusive. Run it once, it'll give you the command line options. So what we wanna do now is pass in the volume. And we know it's drive H. So a slash slash dot, and I'll get this wrong once, but I'll fix it. E will change to H. So a slash slash dot slash H colon, and then virtualbox.exe. So we launch again here, and then we can go ahead and see what happens. Once it launches up here, I'll do a directory command and I'm gonna copy file.txt to file3.txt once I get it right here. And lo and behold, it works. So indeed, the drive is locked. Hooray! So just to prove that we are locked from a Windows perspective, if I go to drive H, notice that access is denied. So again, this locking is doing a great job in ensuring that only the program we launch is able to access that drive. Now, that we've exited VirtualBox, I can actually go and copy files on that drive. So as soon as we exit, we are no longer locked in Windows. Very, very cool. So at this point, we can launch VirtualBox again and go ahead and hit start. And we are locked exclusively again, though it doesn't really matter. If we do a DIR, there's our file4.txt, all set. All right, well, that's what I had for you today. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you found this procedure useful. I've actually needed to use this procedure. You're gonna see in an upcoming video as to why. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe and ring that notification bell and you'll see that video when it gets released. In all cases, if you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. If not, please consider sending me a strong message by pressing that thumbs down button twice. As always, it's been great having you along for the retro journey and I look forward to seeing you next time. But until then, Bye for now.